Hi, everybody. I'm here with Sarah Turner, red light therapy expert, and we're asking her about different ways in which red light therapy can be used for different conditions in the human body. Now, this one I've asked you many times myself because it's something that's important to me. Sleep, getting good sleep. Can red light therapy support getting good sleep? It can, and this is my favorite application for red light therapy because I think of everything, sleep is one of the most important things, fundamental you can do for your health. So not many people know that sleep is actually a highly energetic process. You need a lot of energy to be able to sleep well. So first of all, when you use red light therapy, you're providing your brain, your body with that energy that it needs to get a good night's sleep. And also, I want to talk a bit about circadian biology. Okay. You know, we need to match our body with the Earth's natural rhythms as much as we can, because that's how we evolved. So that's right. When the sun comes up, the sun comes down, night and day, right? That's right. So as much as possible, if we can keep within those time zones, that's best for our biology. And you can kind of simulate these sun up, sun down exposure because predominantly you have red and near infrared light at those times. I see. So there you have it. If you want better sleep, red light therapy is something that can support you getting good quality sleep.